All right, these are tricky problems. And I want to point out the, the reason they're tricky is because you're looking at the highest degree variable. And on top, it's actually x. But on bottom, it's actually the root of x squared. And I want to point out the root of x squared could be one of two things. It could be x if the x is greater than or equal to 0, or minus x if the x is less than 0. Now, what do I notice about this thing? We're definitely in the negative territory. So I'm going to divide the top by x. What would you get? Well, if you divide the top by x, I need to divide the bottom by x. All right? So let's think about that. And what am I going to select over here? I'm going to select this thing. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me back up. I'm going to be selecting this guy here because we're definitely in the negative territory. All right? So what are we going to do? I'm going to divide the top by this, and I'm going to divide the bottom by this. Let's do that. They're equal, by the way, when you go towards minus infinity. So what do you get? You would get minus 4 plus 3 over x. What do you get on bottom? Well, we're dividing by the root of x squared. It looks pretty simple to do that, by the way. What do you get? You would get 25 plus, well, you get 4x over x squared. You know, let's just write that down as 4 over x. I think I can do that limit now. The limit at the top, as x goes towards minus infinity, is minus 4. The limit at the bottom, as x goes towards minus infinity, is the root of 25, which is just 5. That's my final answer. Let's look at the key, and we are seeing that. Thank you.